I'm Black Phoenix, and I'm a streamer on Twitch and also a content creator on YouTube. And I'm creating this series so that you can learn tips from people who main these characters and who have played these characters for a long time. There are some tips that they don't tell you in the game, or things and interactions that you don't know about. So, today we're starting off with Prisoner, so let's get right into it. The first tip is how you start off with Prisoner, because it's very important that you start off very well with Prisoner. He has a lack of sense when it comes to finding out where hunters are, and, he do and when they are close to him, he has a smaller radius of detection. Okay, starting now, you can see that I need to make sure I head to the first cipher that I find. And you need to make sure that you start decoding without connecting, because in most cases you don't know who's connected. So, you touch the cipher like I'm doing right now, decode a little bit, then you search and see who's connected. This gives time for people to connect and start deciphering so you can find them and help them. This will free up other characters so that they don't have to be decoding and they can do their jobs, such as rescuers rescuing characters or kiters kiting. The faster they do their ciphers, the faster that they can do things and help in the rest of the match. Your job is to help them finish faster. Okay, in this example we have two different ways of starting the match. So depending on where you spawn, sometimes hunters spawn further away from you or closer closer to you. So prisoner is very weak in this type of way that if you spawn right next to the hunter, you're pretty much dead straight away. You need to make sure that if you're near the hunter or you think that you've spawned near the hunter, that you move past the first cipher, go to a different cipher. Okay, in this example, you want to make sure that when you're connected to somebody, that they have theirs on zero and you put yours to 48%. So in this example, you have me putting uh, the my cipher up to 48%, and then you'll have the person receiving it on 0%. You want to make sure that you are decoding theirs faster than you're decoding yours. So the Persona web is very important for Prisoner. I like to go for this type of um, build where I go full left and full right. One thing that I specifically like is to have the shock build so that you can see where the hunter is with things like self-deception and compensate. Here we have an example of using the shock reveal to find where the hunter is. You wait until your calibration misses and you can see the hunter. If the hunter is too close, you relocate to the next position, connect up to the one that you were just on, and the hunter will never know that you even left. Here we have another example of being able to detect where the hunter is. The hunter's off in the distance, so you're safe, so keep on move you keep on decoding, and they will never know about it. Okay, as some, for some decoding tips, you want to make sure that when you're decoding, that you don't finish their cipher to the end. When they're getting close to the end of their cipher to someone who's already working on the other end, you need to make sure you move on and connect up to another one. They can finish their cipher, you need to be prioritizing finishing everybody else's ciphers as fast as possible. So, for a kiting tip, your shot can help you make some distance or create some distance between you and the hunter. So you want to use this possibly when you're in a big open area and you need that extra second to get to a wall or behind a wall. Or in most cases, in this example, you want to shock before you jump a window to give you that time you need to vault the window. If you need it so you can close a pallet, you shock and then drop the pallet. You've created some distance between you and the hunter. Here we have another example where you need to vault over a pallet. Here we have an example of kiting around your cipher. So there is a shock on the ground that if the hunter stays in there for a period of time, they get a short shock. In most cases, hunters will instantly break your connection. But if you're around this area, you can use this as a great time to kite and give your team more time to decode. So let's have a look at some gameplay now. 
So you spawn in, the first thing we need to do is we need to go up and find our cipher if we're not near a hunter. We, I know I'm not near a hunter, so we start decoding to give everyone time to give everyone time so that to connect up to a cipher and start decoding. I connect up to the person who's connected, they're shown in white. And then I help them by turning it up to 48% and we start decoding theirs as much as possible. I'm going to shock reveal now, so I know where the hunter is. The hunter is far away. I'm safe, so I will continue decoding. The hunter is nearby. I'm nearly finishing this cipher, so what do I need to do? I need to now connect up to the next one to help somebody else out. The person at the other end can finish the cipher that we're already on. I see the hunter is nearby, so I turn down the decoding so that I can finish my one faster so I can get out of the area as fast as I can. <laughs> if I don't finish it, I go to the next closest cipher and I connect up to the one that I was working on so that the hunter has no idea where I am at any time. They always assume I'm in the same place, but I'm always moving, keeping myself safe. And I finish the cipher that I was already doing before. This is an example of when you can use shock to help a survivor that's been picked up. It's not very practical in most cases, but this can give time for someone to struggle free. I recommend that you don't try and do this seriously, but that you try your best. Here we have an example of why I use my kiting build so that you can dash away fast from where the hunter was. Okay, so those are some tips that I think people need to know about Prisoner. I really hope that you guys learned something new that you didn't know. I've been playing Prisoner and I love him to bits. Luca is a great character with his shock and his ab ability to help other, one, other people out. And also so you can know where you need to go to the next cipher so you can optimize your cipher decoding. Uh, I hope that you like this video. Please leave a like below, uh, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to. And I hope to see you in the next video. And... Goodbye.